Okay, so we're going to do uh, some orbital, some uh, basic orbital and uh, ocular anatomy. So we're going to look down uh, from a superior view into uh, the, the skull. And we're going to look at, uh, so this would be your nose. Okay. And we're going to look down and we're going to look into the eye sockets or the orbits, the bony structures, those truncated uh, cones in your eye or in your skull that your eye sits in. So they're basically going to run like this. You're going to get a nasal wall and then the temporal wall okay, where these, um, these cones are in your skull and they form the, the two eye sockets. Right? This would lead to your nose and that would lead out along the temporal, um, the temporal wall of the eye socket uh, out here like your zygomatic bone. So this is where uh, we're looking down. This is how your eyes sit in there. Okay? And then your eyeball itself will sit here. This is going to be, uh, say, your iris, right? All right, so you're looking down from above. You're looking at the eyes that sit in here. Obviously, your eyes are going to uh, look straight ahead. And these, these cones are going to sit off at maybe um, a 45-degree angle. So use blue. And if I were to make a midline axis through that uh, orbit, right, or the, the socket of your eye, the orbital axis that uh, runs through there, it runs at about 45 degrees from the midline or the nasal wall. Okay? But then the, the straight line, the axis through your visual axis or your optical axis, that's going to run parallel to the uh, midline, to the nasal uh, wall, which makes it at 45 to the orbital axis. Right? So that's how your eye is going to sit in the socket. That's important for understanding um, eye directions of these uh, muscles we're going to cover. We're just going to do the six uh, muscles on the eye. Now, some of the uh, muscles line up straight with the orbital axis and they're going to come back to sort of this cartilaginous ring and you're going to have four muscles uh, that are short and straight that line up one underneath the eye one above then you have one on the nasal uh, aspect of the orbit and one on the temporal aspect of the orbit and these muscles are called the medial lateral rectus the superior and inferior uh, inferior rectus right now I'll draw those in a different uh, different configuration. But besides the uh, recti muscles, here's your eye, sitting in there, here's the cone. You're going to have two oblique muscles. So there's going to be a little um, a little structure in the nasal wall called the trochlea or the pulley, and your superior oblique muscle is going to run up around this pulley and then sort of makes this little turn and runs to the, uh, the superior aspect of the eye, the eye itself, in the lateral posterior, uh, I don't want to say corner because it's a rounded structure, but it sort of runs up and back like this. Okay? The inferior, uh, off the nasal wall, inferior oblique, runs from this more anterior portion of the lateral wall, and then it runs back toward the posterior, lateral, but inferior aspect, not corner, of the eyeball itself. So this would be your inferior uh, oblique, and it's not on top die, it's underneath. And then this would be the superior uh, oblique. Okay? Now the line of pull for these muscles, the, the recti will go back over, that's pretty straightforward. It's in line with the orbital axis. Because the oblique muscles are oblique to the orbital axis, their line of pull on the eyeball will be slightly different, okay? So it's going to run obliquely, uh, anteromedially toward the nasal wall. So when it pulls on the eye, that's the, uh, the effect it'll have. All right, keep that in mind for a second. Rewind it if necessary. And then I'm going to draw So remember the orbital axis. Now we have an eye, okay? This time we're looking right at the eye. There's the pupil. This is the iris. We're going to draw two eyes and we draw these conventional 
uh, drawing is you're looking at your patient. So there's the nose. This would be the patient's left. This would be the, the, the patient's right eye. Okay. Now remember the, the optical axis, they're looking straight ahead, parallel with that nasal or medial wall of the orbit. <clears throat> and the orbital axis is on a 45 degree angle. But you basically have a muscle on top of the eyeball and under medial aspect and lateral aspect. And these are your, um, your superior rectus, your medial rectus, lateral rectus, and inferior rectus muscles. Okay. Now on the, um, we'll go back to the obliques in a minute. This is pretty easy to understand. If the superior rectus muscle is to contract along its line of drive, it would pull the eye to look up, right? So as it pulls back, it would rotate the, uh, the ball of the eye in the orbit and it would pull and the line of drive would have you looking up gaze, okay? Inferior rectus, it's gonna be a down gaze. If the medial rectus works, it's gonna drag me across to look nasally and the lateral rectus muscle would contract and pull the eye out uh, in a temporal or lateral gaze, okay? That's not too hard to understand. It gets a little tricky with the obliques. We're going to go through that next. Okay. So I'm going to draw a couple eyes. Again, this would be the right eye. This would be the left eye. Okay. Now, we're going to talk about the, uh, the H pattern, which is typically when I'm going to have the patient follow my finger across in these directions. And we're going to look at one eye at a time. Right? So we'll label this. This is the nose. Right? So this will be the um, right eye. This will be the left eye. So you're going to test one eye at a time. Focus on one eye at a time. Just repeat this. Uh, H pattern until you get the hang of it, and then you can kind of check in with both eyes in their uh, corresponding uh, actions. <clears throat> but we're going to focus on the right eye, okay? So this would be the, for the right eye. When I move, I'm holding my finger or the tip of my pen, have them hold their head still, follow my, uh, just with their gaze, follow the tip of the pen, and I move uh, contralateral, okay? So this would be in a contralateral direction, right? because I'm focusing on the right eye, and this side will be a homolateral uh, direction, okay? So what we're doing in order to test the eye muscles, we have to <clears throat> um, get them into a position of isolation, so only one muscle would predominantly be or exclusively be responsible for the movement we're trying to track, okay? For instance, I move my finger in a contralateral direction across the nasal midline, focusing on right eye, this is for right eye reference here. What muscle would move the right eye in a contralateral direction? Okay, obviously that would be the medial rectus muscle. Okay, so medial rectus. I move across, that eye comes all the way across, the gaze follows uh, the midline to a contralateral position over here. I know that this medial rectus uh, is working. I'm gonna bring my finger back across, midline, and out to the side. And as that eye follows over, I know that her lateral rectus muscle right, is working. Now, <clears throat> when I'm out like this, I'm going to show you on my eye if you can see. When I follow the finger contralateral, my right eye, that's my medial rectus. And if I look out to the side, lateral rectus. Now, while I'm looking out to the side, <clears throat> you remember from the earlier part of the video, I'm looking out to the side, the right eye is gazing to the homolateral side, their temporal, it's going to be lined up with that orbital axis. So now I have my optical and orbital axes aligned, and it's gonna bring me into a direct line of pull with the superior and inferior rectus muscles. Okay, go back and look at the earlier part of the video and see how they line up in the cone, so that when I look temporally or homolateral to the side, my up gaze and down gaze, if my superior rectus Pulls, it helps the eye look up. And if I want to look down, that's inferior rectus. Okay. <clears throat> and then I bring the eye back, gaze back across, or I check why I'm over here, medial rectus, contralateral gaze. I'm going to do up gaze, down gaze. 
But now the eye has moved all the way across and has added, think of this as a 45 degree angle, it started at a 45 degree angle, the optical axis to the orbital axis. Now I've added another 45, so now I'm perpendicular, but it has lined my eye up, gazing nasally or contralaterally, it would line my eyeball itself up with the line of pull of the superior and inferior oblique. The superior oblique will pull from the back top of the eye and roll the eye down. So my superior oblique, when I'm looking across contralateral or nasal gaze, when I look down I have to use the superior oblique to pull the back half of the eyeball forward, which would bring my gaze down, or I'd use my inferior oblique because I'm now lined up with that line of pull to look up. So a quick shortcut would be um, <clears throat> H pattern, the horizontal gaze is medial lateral rectus that kind of isolates. When I do up down gaze on the temporal or homolateral side, that's just going to be the rectus muscles. The superior rectus muscle will pull because it's anchored behind the eye, it'll pull the eye to look up. And then the inferior rectus will pull the eye from underneath to look down. And when I come back across the midline, I'm doing contralateral or nasal, uh, nasal field gaze. When I go to roll the eye down, I use the superior oblique muscle because it's now lined up with that uh, line of pull of the muscle, superior oblique. Or I'm looking across and the inferior oblique is under the muscle and would pull to cause the muscle to look up. Okay. So those are the, the, the basic muscles that you isolate in each position, six positions of the H pattern. Uh, there's, you can use a modified X or other things too, to see how the uh, eye moves around. Then I can also look at the tip of my finger back to the center, and as I bring it in toward the nose, that will activate the convergence. Convergence will be both or bilateral medial rectus muscles, right? Bilateral medial rectus to bring the gaze of both eyes <coughs> nasal. Right, nasally toward the, the middle. So they're going to look, uh, when I look at, I don't know if you can see this, when I look at my finger coming in, I get that nasal gaze. You're also going to get a small constriction of the pupils. Right, with convergence, uh, checking both the medial recti. By constricting the pupil, that helps the, 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 um, the brain focus its uh, visual field. So this video is just a quick uh, overview of the different muscles and how to test or isolate those. We'll do some other videos on the direct and consensual pupillary light reflexes and then we'd have to do a couple more videos to tie that all into the basic uh, neurology, how you can use this um, uh, optic, optic uh, field pattern to test which muscles are working or aren't working so you can do some uh, neurologic uh, lesions or, or uh, missteps. So that's enough for now.